Hello everyone, I'm Jack and Wallace with Jack and Domain, and I'm back with another Game Pass gaming video. I'm going back and looking at uh, Black Desert again. It's kind of a second part to my first video, and I kind of want to just go back and share what some more of my thoughts are. Is it going to be kind of my somewhat my final thoughts a little bit? I don't really want to too much more with Black Desert making another video on the Game Pass gaming series. Even I may do one way later on down the road some point once I get other, once I find other, uh, get more familiar with some other things and whatnot, I guess you could say. But, I kind of want to give more of an updated, updated look, updated kind of thoughts on that. I've had more experience with the game, what to do and how things work. Because one of the things I complained was it, it doesn't really tell you much. And, first thing I do want to say is this horse. I finally got a horse. It's like after hours in, of playing, I was literally walking everywhere. Finally got a horse with a big parking sign flashed over it. It's, that's hilarious to me. I'm sorry. I think that's actually pretty funny. I don't know why, but anyways, so it's actually pretty easy. I feel kind of dumb not knowing how to get a horse the beginning, but it actually is pretty simple. Just go here to the stable keeper you have found the right place and go to the shop, and that's actually what these horse emblems are. Horse emblems are actually what give you the horse or or donkey if you want to buy a donkey. I wasn't really sure at first that you really know because I mean, it just says horse emblem, it doesn't really say much. But if you actually do go to the description, it does tell you it says proof of ownership of a beginner's gray horse allowing you to access it at a stable. So that's just, that's just, it's really that easy. Just buy one of those and you'll be able to get one at the stable there. That's pretty much it. Um, I had no clue at the very beginning of it. I didn't, I just kind of glanced over and like, huh, why is there a horse emblem? Just kind of moved on from there. Um, but next thing I want to talk about is actually something that I really, really wish I would have known at the very beginning. Um, it's something that's kind of buried in menus. If you open it up, you go to profile and you go to the very last, or the next to last, I'm sorry. I think it says request settings. And from here, you can actually set what kind of quests you would get, what quests the NPCs give you. And that's actually pretty cool. That's the first time I've actually seen this in, in a game in general. It may be in other MMOs or other games, but I just haven't actually seen it. But I think this is pretty cool. I wish really wish I would have known it at the beginning. Because you can actually set to where if you are tired of just killing things, you can just take off the general quests. And, or if you want to focus on more just like life or just relaxing quests and that, you have these right here. One thing was, and that's, I've definitely been interested in also, I've been interested in and also kind of solves one of my complaints sort of is how they don't really explain how to get into things so or actually don't really have much quest on how to get into things but we'll just say that like there's not really much quest on hey you know this all this is sort of a starting quest that just kind of get you started of how to do things and what you can do well, that's what this life quest does um as far as processing and alchemy that is kind of gives you quests for npcs that kind of focus on the processing and cooking alchemy so as most of the NPCs offer it and recommend a certain level of skills before proceeding. So that's kind of where you're going to get your quests from, like say here. This person I haven't actually talked when I first talked to him, he didn't have any time that before. So I will give oh, a little bit of examples of production and gathering. Yeah, simple cooking and alchemy and an introduction to to production, of course. That actually helps out a little bit. That's a quest that will kind of get you to, hey, this is what you get to this is kind of get you kind of started, and how it works, and how you can sort of get into something like that. It's a little quest, actually, get into it, a little quest or quest line, I guess you could say. And I will go into back in the settings and give you an example of what the reason is why, because this was not the thing for turn off life quests, and go back into it, and then. They're gone. So if you actually don't even know that that is there, you wouldn't even know how that works. How what you would be, you'd be wondering why I may not be getting any quests like that. I think that was another complaint I had in my first video. Is, um, or at least that was at the very beginning, though. I'm not sure you could run into that anyways. But it's just, I was just constantly going around killing monsters. Which is fine to a degree. I actually enjoy the combat. But there are some times I want to go gather something or go do something else. But that's pretty much what this is for. So if I ever want to just actually find more that involves fishing, 
or even getting into trading in that. Just go to the quests and sort of get that activated. And then I assume you probably have to come in some of the earlier stages of some of the other towns and they'll have like a little quest and getting that started for you. Then there will be other quests that are more go into that more in depth and advanced things that you need from there. So that's it for that because like I said I wish really wish I would have known that in the very beginning. There's kind of in the profile area. But the other last little thing I want to go into is the housing. They actually it's actually pretty interesting as far as the housing because when you buy a house you don't just you know buy a house for you to live in. You actually buy it and you sort of determine what you want to do with it. So if you go into here you go enter then you go buy your house you actually have different options you can you can buy it as a residence so it's where you can put your furniture down you can make a bed or put beds in it kind of decorate it like your actual house or whatnot or you can like say this one you can turn it into like a wood workbench or refinery or add to storage the storage ends up uh, that's your overall storage in the extra storage you actually have in the town each town or some of the major towns have a little storage where you can actually store your things and that and that's if you make a house into storage it actually ups the increase the amount of space you have for it but each one has different ones like say that one is that one this one does a carpenter carpentry workshop furniture workshop and also residence and say so like something like this one here is lodging and residence so you have different options for for your housing it's not just you know buy a house and move on there are actually different things you can do, you can make them out of. And that's that's about most of what I want to go over a little bit. There are again a lot of systems involving that, like the houses. That's where you can actually start up, you know, make one like a workshop, you can put a worker in there, you can work on making certain items and that for you that way. Um each houses have various things you can do depending on where they're located at and the city that they're in. But it's another thing that's like it's interesting. Overall, final kind of thoughts on the game is it's it's definitely fun. I still have fun with it. Uh, like I said, I just wish there were like I was saying. I just wish there were more explanation of some of the things. I mean, I don't want. I don't need to be like completely like, hold your hand. Here's this. Do this. One. Just like a little bit of explanation would, would be nice on something. And uh, but. It's definitely fun. I definitely want look forward to getting more into some of the crafting and how to build up the nodes and other um, other various systems that they do have there. But that is it. And then the combat again. I did send combat during the last video about the combat. It's it's definitely it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I probably am going to start over with a new character now that I do know a little bit more of kind of what's going on and how to do certain things in that. I also want to try a different class because each class seems, seems interesting. I've been having fun with the, the uh, I think it was a wizard class, what's your wizard? I think it's what it is. I think it's wizard, what's it called. Uh, didn't say. Anyways, I've been having fun with this class. I want to try one of the other ones and I am definitely looking forward to it. So that's about it. I would recommend the game if you are I'd recommend it if it's something that if you want to check out, if it's something you've been looking at for a while and you do have the game pass, it is definitely a fun one. It does have its issues, like say with the lag and kind of popping in. And then now there are some things they would do, which there's a little bit more of an explanation for. But like I said, it's, most of that can be me with just kind of looking it up online or looking up different guides. And it has been out for a while, so there are plenty of them. Most of them run. I have most are a little bit outdated, but it's still pretty useful. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested in MMOs or just other RPGs in general. It's fun. And that is about it. I will talk to you guys later. Hope everybody has a blessed evening. Has a blessed day. Has a blessed evening. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. How did this get in here? Uh, well. Sorry about that. I do apologize for some of the audio issues I did kind of have that video a little bit here and there. Uh, but other than that, I want to take feedback. Hope everybody's enjoyed what I've done so far. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, hope everybody has a blessed day and has a blessed evening. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.